Hey guys, OnePass is starting a new series focusing on the good news because we all know we need some good news. So check it out, like, share, and let me know what you think. The road to Rio is actually full of swimming lanes and 18-year-old Amara Pinto is just excited to be in one. I just can't believe it, to be honest. Amara is the fastest female swimmer in the African country of Malawi. And for a while now, she's been smashing national records and eclipsing her competitors, sometimes by up to 10 seconds. My dad would always just tell me, carry on training, carry on training. And then eventually I just started moving up. And thankfully for the past four years in Malawi, I've been undefeated. And her family of faithful fans has been there every stroke along the way. The alarms will go off and everything, but it's that voice that says, Amara, get out of bed, let's go to training. That voice, ever since Amara was a little girl, was her dad, Dean. I definitely feel like he was my number one fan. He was definitely my hero, my role model. You heard that right. He was. A few months ago, as Amara prepped for a bid to represent Malawi in this year's Olympic Games, the family suffered a shock. Amara's dad and constant cheerleader suddenly passed away. It's just really that voice that I really miss and that I find difficult to deal with every day not having it anymore. Her sister Zara feels the sting just as much. Yeah, it's, we, we can't even express how difficult it's been, but um, we're just trying to stay strong, keep moving. And moving is exactly what they're doing. That's how we found them in South Africa, after the sisters crowdfunded a training trip to get Amara into a world-class swimming facility. Brian Elliott, former South African swimmer and coach, is pretty impressed by the depth of her commitment. If all my swimmers were as dedicated as her, it would be a much easier job. <laughs> Zara has taken up dad's post as resident supporter. My role in this whole equation has been to try and eliminate all of these difficulties that she, she might face on her own. It's amazing to have her here. She's the only one that fully understands what we go through. Zara understands because, well, been there, done that. 2008, it was suddenly released that Zara Pinto was going to the Olympics for Malawi. And I was like, oh, okay. Me? Zara was 14 at the time, one of the youngest athletes at the Games in Beijing. While there were no finals or medals, Zara bested her personal record by two full seconds and inspired a 10-year-old Amara while she was at it. I just was telling myself the entire trip that one day that's going to be me, one day that's going to be me, and here we are today. So, yeah, it's a bit awesome. <laughs> Amara is only the sixth swimmer in Malawi's history to hit the Olympics. And although her dad never officially found out that she was named to the Olympic team, she has a feeling he'll get the message. I still feel him with us, and I know for a fact that in Rio, he's going to be there with me and pushing me and just making sure that I can do the best that I can. In Port Elizabeth, South Africa, this is Amy Montalvo with The Good News.